What's going on guys? I know it's been a long time since I picked up the camera and started filming and the reason being is I'm actually preparing, getting ready for my first week of work that I start next week. So I've been doing a lot of studying and just a lot of preparation to set myself up for success on my first day of work. So right now I'm actually currently heading over to a place where I need to hand over some paperwork and just get everything um, situated. So got all my paperwork in here. I'm hoping I have all the right stuff that I need to bring because I do need to drive 40 minutes that way. Um, so I'd hate to drive there and be missing a f special form. So keep my fingers crossed that I have everything. Um, but yeah, so my prep and everything, my 16 weeks uh, of prep has been going really great. I've been staying consistent with my macros, my workouts, my cardio. I've been smashing every session. So don't, um, I'm holding myself accountable, guys. Don't worry. I am keeping on track with that. It's just my YouTube videos and editing and editing the videos have been put, it, put on the back burner just for a little bit just so I can focus and make sure that I set myself up for success, like I said, for my first week at the job. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they say, oh, yeah. And me está sonando más que solo palabras. Y si no las cumples, se van a desvanecer. Algún día volverás. Tu lado mío, yo de testigo. Alrighty, guys, what is going on? Made it to my destination, which is. It says it's in this Denton business building. So I'm gonna go in there, probably look like an, an asshole because I don't know what's going on. I'll probably be in the wrong place. But this is where it brought me, so I'm hoping that I'm in the right destination so I don't look like a complete idiot. Um, and I'm hoping I brought all the required stuff because it says I need a license. So I'm hoping it doesn't matter that my license is from New York. Um, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed because I would hate to have, to have driven 40 ass minutes here just to tell me, yeah, honey, sorry, sweetie, you're going to have to come back with a Texas license. I'll be pretty pissed, but boom. What is going on guys? As you guys can tell by my face, I am happy. So everything did go as planned. Everything went well. He accepted my New York license. Um, which I'm very happy. I was kind of nervous that I would drive 40 minutes here just for them to say, sorry, pal, can't, no can do. But they took it, they accepted it, got the receipt that I needed. So I am one step closer to becoming licensed in the state of Texas. So I'm very happy. And then I am one step closer to starting my career here. So I'm also very happy. I have a 40 minute drive home. So I am, I don't even mind. I don't really mind because I'm not. It's not like I'm driving 40 minutes knowing that I came here for nothing. I came here, came when I, or got what I came here for, so I'm very excited about that. And I also got a notification on my phone that the package that was supposed to be delivered is delivered. And I'm going to show you guys what it is. And I'm excited to try it out finally. I've been waiting for like two weeks for this damn thing. But super excited, super happy. Um, so I'll show you guys what I get. And then I also have uh, the remaining of the day to study for my exam on Friday. Alright, what is going on guys? Hang on, let me turn down this music real quick. So, I have been all over the place in this vlog. It's been all over the place. It's been <laughs> days um, apart, and I do apologize for that. But yesterday was the day where I took my exam for um, the state of Texas, and I had the good news. We did pass. So uh, I was very, I wasn't really nervous because um, I know how much work I put into it. It was literally a week and a half, just pure studying, 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 um, and just like hours and hours a day. Like I was just in my room in the office. I was like all over the place just studying. So um, I felt really good that my hard work paid off and I passed yesterday. Literally had to drive two hours, like almost two hours to this place, to there and then two hours back. Um, so it would have been a long two hours had I not passed. Um, but definitely very happy that I passed. Right now I'm actually heading over to um, 
I think Walmart because Walmart I guess they do oil changes and stuff like that so I need to get my oil changed and I need to get my tires rotated because on Monday is the day that I start my job so everything is gonna add on to my um, my prep so I'm excited I have more responsibility and it's gonna be um, an even greater challenge to stick with it and to do my cardio to stick with my diet and everything so I'm gonna meal prep tomorrow all my meals so that way that's gonna set me up for success throughout the week so I'm very excited um, my watch came in had to get that fixed because it wasn't working and uh, yeah overall I'm in a good mood very happy and uh, on locale but we still smiling we still happy upbeat and uh, yeah, let's go to Walmart and see if the wait is long and uh, hopefully it's not so we can get our oil changed. So, peace out. Alrighty guys, so went into Walmart. The lady said it's going to be about an hour and a half to get my tires rotated and an oil change. So, She's coming out here to see what kind of oil. I know I need synthetic oil, but she needs to ask if it's like 540 or something. I'm like, I have no clue. So she's gonna take a look and check it out. Um, in the meantime, I'm just gonna sit here and twiddle my thumbs for like an hour and a half. <sighs> Alrighty guys, what is going on? It is currently 742 right now. I probably was twiddling my thumbs at Walmart waiting for my car to get oil for probably a little over two hours, but it's worth it. Got my oil changed. Um, and yeah, like I said, I start my job Monday, so I want to make sure that I'm good for my commute. I don't want any problems. Um, so I picked up the Gatorade Zero just now because I was getting hungry and just going to suppress my appetite a little bit longer because I've only had 500 calories so far. But picked up um, some mushrooms. I've never been a fan of mushrooms, especially when I wasn't dieting. Um, but now that I'm dieting, um, I'm, tr I'm trying to find foods that are going to fill me up and so I get the most bang for my buck. Mushrooms is one of them. I can add a lot a lot of this for a lot of, adds a lot of volume with not a lot of carbs. So definitely a major key. Now this guys, this is the G Hughes sugar free barbecue sauce. This one's absolutely inc incredible. For one serving, it's only 10 calories and it's two carbs. So I put this bad boy, I load this bad boy up on my broccoli. And it's honestly one of my favorite meals of the day. Um, so I haven't got sick of my like chicken and broccoli because of this, simply because of this. So if you are dieting or if you're in a prep, look for your, go to your local grocery store, go to your condiment section and go look for G Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce. Amazing. And then I just stocked up on some more broccoli because I go through broccoli like it ain't nobody's business. So, so yeah, so that's gonna be it. I had to redo this clip because for some reason it was zoomed into my face like so much and it looked like ridiculous. So, gonna head on home guys and then I asked my brother to take out the air fryer because I'm gonna make some, hopefully some nice french fries. French fries. <laughs> Yo sé que tú quieres moverlo sin pena ver, sin estrés. Muéstrame sus pasos, te cuento hasta diez y ven. Yo sé que tú quieres. Alrighty, guys, what is going on? Right now, I just finished prepping up my dinner. Right now, I have 160 grams of potatoes. Um, let me see what I got. 100. I have 100 grams worth of broccoli, 200 grams of mushrooms, four ounces of chicken mixed in here. 123 grams of tomato and 42 grams of spinach. All together, this is 334 calories. So as you guys can see, it's a lot of volume for a little amount of calories. So that's the major key that I'm working on is making sure that I'm consuming a lot of food, not a lot of food, but like having a lot of volume for my food to help keep me full, a lot of fiber, hence a lot of the vegetables, the mushrooms, tomatoes, um, brock, and I'm also in the morning use green peppers as well. So. This is going to keep me full, and I also have two other meals to go. So I have my Greek yogurt one, and then I also have my big old bowl of oats, which I'll, get. I'll show you guys what I have consumed. And then a major key is seltzer water. Anything carbonated is going to keep me fuller, and they have no calories whatsoever. So... So here's everything weighed out guys, I have a half a scoop of chocolate lava cake protein powder, 100 grams of blueberries, I'm going to use a little bit of cinnamon, and 5 sprays of this, I can't believe it's not butter, zero calorie butter spray, and pink Himalayan sea salt, and obviously the oats as well. 
but don't knock it till you try it with the pink Himalayan sea salt, guys. First of all, pink Himalayan, pink Himalayan sea salt is very good for you. It's got a ton of minerals, um, and it helps actually get like its natural form of electrolytes, so it's going to help keep you hydrated as well. Um, and absolutely sweet and salty. It does taste really good, and it definitely tastes really good in these chocolate oats that I'm about to make. So don't knock it till you try it. Let me know down in the comments down below if you do try this oatmeal. It's, I guarantee you it's absolutely incredible. You'll love it, so let me know. Alrighty guys, I just ate all that food, consumed all that food, about 1,500 calories in like an hour and a half. Um, yeah, pretty much an hour and a half. So I'm gonna show you guys what I look like right now. I have a food belly and it's totally different from what I look like in the morning. So tomorrow morning, I'll show you guys what it look like. So here, it's like the are there. But this is what we're looking like. A little over six and a half weeks in. Alrighty guys, what is going on? Right now it is currently 4.50 right now in the morning. Actually waiting outside the gym right now. Gym opens up in 10 minutes. So I'm actually gonna get a workout in before work today. Today's my first day of work, so. Um, yesterday I was like, not stressing or whatever, but just getting everything ready and situated so I can set myself up for success. Literally had all my brekkie, um, all my vegetables and stuff weighed out and in a Tupperware, as you guys saw in the clip before. Um, just to save myself some time and I advise any of you guys that are doing anything Prepare, you know preparation is key, you know set yourself up for success um, I literally had all my clothes laid out uh, all my workout stuff laid out So I didn't have to, I didn't have the the time to think about what to wear and stuff like that I didn't want to lose that momentum as I woke up early today No one ever sees me, sees me, I'm losing every battle No one ever sees me, sees me Alrighty guys, what is going on? Just finished up my workout and everything. Right now it's currently 6.22 right now in the morning. Um, heading over to work, but first I'm at Starbucks right now. I'm gonna grab a coffee, and then I have about a 40 minute drive. And uh, we're gonna get the day started, so I'm excited, I'm pumped, feeling good. And uh, once I get my coffee and it's gonna be game, set, match, it's over. I have a lot of momentum built up in the day where I got my workout done, had my first meal in. We're looking good, so. I'm gonna grab my coffee, so. So I just ordered a, a black coffee. Uh, the black coffee, the one that's gonna give me caffeine, it's gonna, one, suppress my appetite, and I don't like to drink my calories, 
so I keep it black. Um, so yeah, I enjoy it this way. Good man, how are you? Pretty good. Good. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this guys, and then I'll see you. Yeah, you, uh, so yeah, you man. Alrighty guys, pulled into work right now. It's currently 7 o'clock, or 7.10, I'm sorry. Um, got about oh, maybe like five more minutes, I'm gonna chill my car and then I'm gonna head inside. Today's the first day, so I'm super excited. I already guys told you it's the first day, but I'm super excited. Um, so I'll give you guys an update throughout the day, how it goes, if I can or not. I don't know how that's gonna work out, but um, definitely at the end of my shift, at the end of the work day, I will bring out the camera and kind of let you guys know how it went. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited, um, and that's pretty much all I gotta say, so. Have a good rest of the day, everyone, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next clip, so peace. Alrighty, guys, what is going on right now? It is currently 6.09 right now. Just got out of work. Long, long day, but it was a very good day, very productive. Um, did, like, a lot of training, a lot of computer work. Got to meet a lot of the upper management and was in a meeting from um, for about an hour and a half, so it was very good. Got to meet a lot of the important people, and uh, overall, it was just a... Um, a very good, very good day. So um, I have about a 40 minute drive back home. So I'm gonna go home, eat, and then just kind of relax for the rest of the night and then do it again tomorrow. So I'll catch you guys home, peace. All right, you guys, so I'm just gonna read you this clip because the fan in the shower was on and I couldn't hear anything that I was saying. But um, I'm sorry, guys, for the kind of delay in each video and each scene. It's kind of a couple days spread out, so I do apologize for that. But I'm getting finding my routine right now, now that I started my full-time job. I'm putting in about 10 hours a day, you know, while waking up around 3.30. Working on average about five hours of sleep, but I, you know, I made a commitment for 16-week prep, and I want to showcase and show you guys that, you know, when you set out to do something, um, you keep your word with it, and you follow through with your plan. Embrace the suck. You know, it's, it's, it feels really good to, to feel like, um, you know, I see my body progress and just see, see my mind, you know, become mentally stronger as well. So I'll give you guys a little physique update. Um, this is the end of the day. Finished all my macros. So here we go. Boom. So there you go guys. That's my physique update with all the food um, in me right now. Um, I want to say thank you guys so much for the support on the previous videos. I had a couple people messaging me and be like, yo, where are the videos at? <laughs> so I do apologize for that. Um, the videos will be coming more consistently. I'm just trying to find my groove, find my routine. And uh, yeah guys, so thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate the support and all the videos. Hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy the content and subscribe if you're new. Peace out, see ya. So I